Well, right now on the Music Express, the boy Wanderer has returned home. Mark Holden, good to have you back in Adelaide. Thank you. And how long has it been since the last visit? Well, I was home for Christmas. Home for Christmas. It was just in and out then. But though. we didn't see you then. Yeah, I've yeah. come back a few times actually, but just, you know, for personal reasons. Right. How long have you been away? I've been away for, I think it's four and a half years now. Four and a half I years. I left in, when Blue Fire Lady and Newsfront were being shown at the Cannes Film Festival, I went through Los Angeles then right. and was offered a publishing recording contract and so I kind of dug in there. I think it was about 1979 and uh, sat around for two years waiting for my work permit and learning how to uh, write songs and uh, the last few years particularly have been uh, really concentrating on songwriting and now I've got the album which is why I'm here. For four and a half years overseas the accent's not very strong. Well, you know it's really strange and the uh, while I was getting my makeup on a couple of the girls there thought I had a very strong American really? accent. Yeah some people think I have some people think I haven't. I think mm. probably uh, some people expect you to have an American accent right. because you've been living there. Yeah. I ended up uh, speaking like the New Zealanders after only eight days. Ah, six of this and... <laughs> six of that and have you finished your meal? And <laughs> exactly, sort of yeah. thing. Right, you have a new LP under the belt and it's the yeah. self-titled one. Yes. Uh, late in the career for a self-titled LP too. I guess so. Anyway, that goes. Well, I felt like this is a new beginning for me. Uh, it's... Uh, it's my first album in, in a number of years. It's, uh, it's a new record company. I'm with Polygram. It's going to be released all the way around the world. And in around the world, I'm not known, and this is my first album that's been released around the world. Right. I, uh, I leave from Australia to uh, go back to Los Angeles in, in two weeks, and then I'm off to Holland and Germany and, uh, and Sweden, and after that, Japan and then America in January. So in those territories, you know, when they don't know me, I wanted the name to be known. Right, and we've already had one single off at the For You For single, you, yeah. and now the new one, which will uh, hold up to the camera here. It's called Who Do You Love? And that's from the self-titled Mark Holden album. And I guess you're expecting big things with this one? This is the song that is uh, being uh, released in, in Germany and, uh, and, uh, and Holland. It's actually being pressed right now. Right. And uh, also I think it's going to be released in Mexico and South America and South Africa. I'm not sure what the Japanese single is right now. I'm not sure what the American single is. Mm. Probably will be Who Do You Love. That seems to be the one that uh, around the world they're going for. What are your feelings with music and, and acting at the moment? Are you uh, looking acting still is, looking for acting opportunities? Well, I, am, I would like to do a, an Australian film if it came up, but I, it's really on the back burner because I've got a multi-album deal with Polygram and I'm making the next album already, right. so I'm kind of concentrating on the songwriting. Right. Plus, the songwriting has, uh, has really taken off for me in America. I've got a song on the Manhattans, who are a black uh, R&B band, that's in the top 30 right now, and uh, Bob Welch, uh, a new single, actually it's on my album called All Dance Alone, yeah. He's just done a video of that song, so I hope that it's going to be a single for him. And I've got a top ten song in Hawaii right now. Actually, it was the second song I ever wrote when I got to America. And uh, so, so the songwriting thing is, uh, ha has become very important to me. So what was going through your mind four and a half years ago when uh, Blue Fire Lady was happening? What, what was Mark Holden? Were you deciding, was it going to be music or acting, or did well, America make up your mind for you? No, it was really a gut instinct. I, I knew that the kind of pop thing and, and the whole, you know, it was really a, a career that was in a large degree built on image, and that if, if I was going to be in this business for a long period of time I needed to have some substance and I really needed to get out and, and work at being a songwriter and I produce my records now and I arrange them and I, I didn't want to be just a pretty face I wanted to be you know a legitimate recording artist and, and something that I could be doing when I'm 40 and 50 as well mm. a pop career lasts a few years a recording career, a songwriting career, a producing career can last a lifetime and that's mm. what I want to do I want to, I'm very serious about it and I don't want to be just a pretty face I got a uh, real pleasure from reading a National Times review that uh, that ended, it was a good review and it ended saying, welcome back reformed wimp. And I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> I enjoyed that. Did you find uh, shaking the image a problem? It, 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 well, of course, in the other territories in, in America and, uh, so and there was they, no previous, there, there's image, no previous course, conception. Right. But, but here it's a very real problem. It mm. continues to be a very real problem. How important is Australia? And I guess you could be really honest on this one. How important is Australia to Australia you? Australia is important to me uh, on a number of different levels. One, I've signed to America, uh, t signed to Australia uh, for the world, which is unusual. I don't think anyone's signed an international 
deal of taking an album that was made in America and signing in Australia. Mm. So that was kind of, so it's important at that level. My record company for the world is Polygram Australia. Right. And they're the ones that are controlling the releases all the way around the world. So it's important at that level. It's important because my family and friends are here. Exactly. At the level of a market, of course, it's not very important in the mm. sense that there are America's much bigger market and Japan and Germany are much bigger markets and strictly on an economic basis those are the markets that that uh, you know my career is going to be in hopefully right. but uh, Australia is important because any success anywhere is important at any time right. you know, a top 10 record in Hawaii is, t is important mm. you know right. do, you, do you have something to prove to your old fans as well I think I think I, I've shocked my old fans. <laughs> I, 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 I do believe that. And you shocked uh, me when you took your shirt off at that concert at Festival Theatre some years ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, now, now that's, you just hit, hit home there, really. I mean, that, that to me was one of the highlights of my career, actually. Yeah. I, I mean, in terms of important things, films and other things and logies are probably more important, but, mm. but that concert at Festival Theatre in, in my hometown really rates as one of the highlights of my life, I think. Right. Well, that leads me on to the point of, of tours. Um, you weren't a great tourer. No. And still aren't? No. Uh, the guys, I did, I have performed live in America. I performed right. in um, Lake Tahoe at Harrah's, which is uh, one of the top casinos, uh, nightclub hotels in, mm -hmm. uh, in America. So that's the vein you'd like to take, the nightclub no, scene? No, that's or? definitely not the it's vein not. I want to take. That's, right. That was a kind of a deciding factor for me. I did that for six weeks and it was with a 26-piece orchestra and it was, it was really as, as, as lush and as, and as, as high level as you can possibly mm. get. But I thought, you know, I just don't want to do that. I, I, don't, I don't want to be a cabaret artist. You know, it was part of the decision making of leaving Australia. I don't want to be that kind of performer. I want to be a pop rock writer, song, songwriter, producer. And I, that's what I want to do. And so I made the decision that I don't want to do that. At the level of, uh, of touring, the guys, uh, the guys on this record, uh, I stay in touch with them because we're working on the new album, of course. Uh, Phil Chen from Rod Stewart's band and Bo Siegel, who's, who's toured with Joan Armour Trading and lots of different people. All the guys on the band, Phil Kenzie, who played uh, Year of the Cat, the sax solo, all those guys uh, who played on the record are constantly asking me, they have been to Australia before, so not all of them, but a couple of them have been to Australia before, and they want to know when I'm going to hit the road. And mm -hmm. I say to them, you know, really, I want to, and but it's totally... A, 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 Deter, you know, depends right. on what happens with the record. I mean, it, it would cost me somewhere between fifty and a hundred thousand dollars just to bring them out here, right. and you know, and that really means that there's got to be a hit record and there's got to be a hit album to right. do that. So go and buy it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so go and buy it. So is there a chance we could see another shot festival theatre? Oh, I hope so. I Great. really hope so. I really hope so too. Yeah. It was a good one. Yeah, it was fun, wasn't it? Well, Mark Holden, pleasure speaking with you. Welcome back to Adelaide and enjoy your stay here. Thank you.